Hey everybody, we're going to give you the quick update on the Zero lineup. And these are the S models and the X models. The X model frames, those are our dirt bikes. You're going to see that in the FXS and the FX. Now there haven't been a ton of changes that have happened for the 2021 model year. Most of that's happened in the SRF and the SRS. We do want to call attention to some of the use, some of the application and the way people are using the bikes, because that is important. Remember that there's a lot of different options in the Zero lineup. With the Zero lineup, you're getting a ton of different bikes. The FX and the FXS, yes, that's a trail bike and a super motard. Street use, you're gonna have a you know, 70 to 90 mile range, depending on how you ride it. 80 foot pounds of torque and more. It's go, 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 it's having a lot of fun. It's about the most fun you can have. But remember that you're gonna buy that bike at a 3.6 system. That's gonna be the cheapest way you can buy a Zero. That's gonna be getting that bike into your pocket for like, you know, $92.99 for that small, small battery. But that does give you the opportunity to upgrade at a later date to give yourself more range. And that's something that might be really, really important to you if this is your first ever electric motorcycles. The biggest thing about Zeros that I can remind folks is that Zeros are modular. They're scalable. They will grow with you. So when you do something like the bike I'm standing next to, you take the S model and you may start with only the 7.2. Because with the 7.2, you're getting a bike that's easy to ride. Remember, it's 100 pounds lighter than most of its gasoline-powered competitors. It has two different storage lockers. It's got the, the tank, the storage tank up here on the top, and it also has a storage locker on the right-hand side, where the big battery would normally be if it wasn't a 7.2. That gives you a lot of options without even adding top cases to the bike. Getting into something like this, you're gonna be in that like 11 and a half, you know, 11 to price point. And being that affordable, um, you know, we joke, okay, it's 10,995 for that bike. But it's still, that's a 100 mile an hour bike. That's a bike with over 80 foot pounds of torque. There's a hell of a lot of capabilities here. And later on down the road, if you want to, you can change this from the way it came from the factory. You can add a charge tank to it. You can now pick up on level two charging anywhere you go. Or you could add a power tank, which would be adding another 30 to 40 miles of range to the bike. This bike is infinitely scalable, and that's a great thing. Now, this bike has its hot rod brother. Its hot rod brother is called the SR, and the SR is 116 pounds of torque. That's a ton of power, and that's a very quick bike. But the SR comes with you, comes to you out of the crate with 14.4 battery on board. So that 14.4 battery on board, you add the power tank here to the top, you add a battery up here on the top of the bike, and what you're doing is you're picking up a monster range. You'll be at 223 miles then. And that's the longest range you can get an electric motorcycle right now. And that's fantastic. And we're talking about a bike, you get into the game on SR, you're getting all that torque, you're getting a bike for 15,495 bucks. And then later on, if you wanna add that power tank to it, rock on. Or maybe you don't want the power tank. Maybe you wanna do a charge tank instead so you can get that level two charging. That's available in the SR. So that's a great way to do it. Now we talked about the S, we talked about the SR. Everything changes with the DSR or the DS with the letter D. That's all about the dirt. So when you get into the DS, that's an S, but with dirt, right? So it's a bigger suspension, a taller suspension. We've got different wheels. So on the street model bikes, they're gonna have the 17 inch rear, the 17 inch front. But on these DSs and DSRs, 18 in the back, right? 19 in the front, we're gonna give you a little bit more range. We're gonna give you a little bit more wheel clearance. You wanna go off-road, you can. This is a great way to do it but your options are the same with the DS and the DSR as they were with the S and the SR. For battery and for storage, for charge tank options, everything. You have the same thing of the 80 plus foot pounds of torque, or you have the 116 foot pounds of torque that you see behind me on the DSR or right in front of me there with the law enforcement edition. That's right, Zero does a lot with law enforcement and military. The MMX, which is based on the X platform, is what our military guys are using. And of course, this DSR that you see right in front of you, that's what our law enforcement is using. And these guys put tremendous demands on their vehicles. And we're very happy to say that with those government contracts, those law enforcement contracts, Zero is the only company out there satisfying them and keeping our service members and our law enforcement happy and safe on the roads with their products. Now, this is just for a very small part of the line. 
This is our X, our dirt bikes. This is our S, which is our basic street bikes, and our DS, which is our basic, you know, kind of dual purpose bike or an adventure style bike. We're not gonna talk about the SR and the SRF in the video. That'll be for another video. Make sure you check that one out. Get in touch with us, phil at clevelandmoto.com. Go to our website, it's www.clevelandmoto.com for more information about Zero and all the other products that we carry. Ride fast and take chances.